Out on the edges of the small Texas town of Navasota, approximately 70 miles outside of Houston, National Oil Well Varco has built a sprawling compound. The new Research and Development Technology Center is being used to help engineers develop and test new technologies and equipment, in particular those related to drilling automation. The facility houses a 375 ton, 1500 horsepower ideal prime rig that is equipped with IntelliServe wired drill pipe. So that's serial number one prototype prime rig. We spudded October 2014, so we moved the rig here um, on the site in Grimes County in July of 2014. Uh, we're on the eighth directional well. NOV describes the site as an incubator for innovation. And had a lot of meetings with uh, different product line groups across the company and asked them uh, basically what would you like to test now that you can't test? What would you like to test five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? Like let, you know, let your imagination go and let's see if we can build a facility that could house all of this and accommodate all that kind of testing. Everything works different in a rig environment, so this gives us a playground. And really our goal is to take the current generation of rigs and automate them. The rig on site is equipped with the Novo system, which uses algorithms to autonomously perform day-to-day -day drilling operations. We are using Novos as a automated process for pretty much drilling, sliding, and surveying. So the driller can get the system uh, set up to run by adding a stand and then he hits go and the, the system takes care of all the intermediate steps for taking uh, out of slips, tagging bottom, drilling stand and putting back into slips. NOV is currently using the center to test integration of Novos with the company's Evolve optimization service. Evolve is also algorithm based and tracks real-time downhole data with sensors on the bottom hole assembly. It transmits this data to the surface using wired drill pipe and uses the data to calculate recommended drilling parameters. And so what our software is doing is making that data that we're delivering um, concise and something that's manageable so that the people that are ultimately responsible for a well bore are empowered with the best information possible. Through a new application called True Drill, Novos and Evolve provide real-time closed loop control to the draw works and top drive from a real-time downhole weight on bit measurement and just to being able to drill with uh, effective weight on bit on the downhole. And then we're going to com we're combining that with the surface automation components. So you get a consistent startup and shutdown of tools, and you get an optimized drilling process or drilling function when you're on bottom. The first commercial integration of Novos and Evolve will be a six-well project in the Permian this fall, and the two services will remain on the rig for the foreseeable future. Using the Novo software and wired drill pipe, NOV is able to test other new applications that automate aspects of the drilling process as well as functionality of corresponding downhole tools. NOV will continue with periodic tests of Novos at the Technology Center to develop other applications such as automated steering with a mud motor. The, the test rig is a place where anybody that has a new idea, a new technology, can go out and put it into the rig environment and understand how it interacts and, and how it's going to work. Uh, we can develop test cases, we can develop value cases, we can develop uh, failure modes, all those kind of things that provide the ability to know that the, the product is, is field ready when we sell it to customers. The company is also working to finish construction of a mud building facility that will complete tests for downhole mud motors as well as flow loop testing of other downhole tools. We're excited to get the mud building up and running when we can. Uh, that just extends the uh, number of simultaneous testing activities that can take place out here. That's what we're really um, looking forward to being able to do. And